What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about high intensity exercise causes heart disease. But first, like, subscribe, comment, follow the algorithm. There was a new study that came out that looked at intensity of exercise and coronary artery calcification score. Now, if you're not familiar with CAC, or I think they say CAC, if you're not familiar with CAC, basically it's, I can't, I can't fucking do this. If you're not familiar with CAC, it's basically a score of how much calcium is deposited in your coronary artery. And it is a good predictor of heart disease in many cases. So they looked at the association of CAC and the intensity of exercise over a six year period. What they found grabbed a lot of headlines. Now they determined exercise intensity based on something called METS, which is metabolic equivalent of task. So essentially it's a standardization unit where they can use to determine how intense an exercise is. They also determine exercise volume using duration as well as some other metrics. So what did they find? They actually found that very intense exercise was associated with increased CAC score. This got a lot of people really hyped up saying, well, should we not do intense exercise? It's increasing your risk of heart disease. This is a really great example of people looking at mechanisms versus outcomes. Your calcification is a mechanism. It's a mechanism by which heart disease may occur. It's also important to point out that this is a cohort study. It is not a direct intervention study. There's no treatment being done. One of the things to keep in mind is that the vigorous or intense exercise group did not have increased risk of CAC, whereas the very intense group did. The other thing is there was no non-exercise control. So there was only moderate, intense, and very intense. And they found that very intense was associated with an increase in the CAC score. But that's not the same thing as an increase in cardiovascular disease events because they did not assess that. Is it possible that there's something about intense exercise that could cause increased calcification? I suppose there could be. But let's look at the actual direct evidence examining very intense exercise and heart disease risk. What you find in the studies that directly address heart disease incidence, that very vigorous exercise actually lowers the risk of heart disease. So what do we care more about? the actual prevalence of this disease versus the treatment, or do we care about a surrogate measurement like CAC? I'm not saying it's completely unimportant, it's worth exploring more, but right now I am not ready to dissuade people from very intense exercise because overall it appears to have a benefit on cardiovascular disease risk. And CAC is just one aspect of cardiovascular disease risk. They've shown that very intense exercise can improve insulin sensitivity and inflammation and many other markers and surrogate measures that are associated with cardiometabolic health. And in a study of 74,000 women aged 50 to 79, looking at six years of follow-up on the risk of cardiovascular disease incidence, looking at walking all the way up to vigorous exercise, they showed a linear effect of the MET score on reducing cardiovascular disease risk. That is, as exercise increased in intensity, there was a linear effect on decreasing the risk of cardiovascular disease risk. And it was quite powerful. In the highest intensity of exercise, there was over a 50% decreased relative risk of heart disease in that study with the most intense exercise. I'm not saying that we should just throw this study out, that CAC doesn't matter or anything like that. But if we're looking at the actual thing we care about, the incidence of heart disease, the actual disease we're worried about, we should care more about that data than the data looking at a surrogate measurement like CAC. So for now, my takeaway is don't worry about exercising intensely. I think that intense exercise is very good overall for you. It decreases your inflammation, decreases your oxidative stress, increases your insulin sensitivity, and does a whole lot of other things to improve your cardiometabolic health. What I would say is just be really careful with these headlines. Some of the headlines on this say, intense exercise increases your risk for cardiovascular disease. That's not what this study showed. It showed an increase in CAC score. But if we look at the actual evidence on cardiovascular disease risk, 
it's decreased by intense exercise. And that's what we should put most of our focus on. If you are overwhelmed by the amount of new studies that come out, you don't feel like you keep track of them, you don't have the wherewithal to break them down like I do in these videos, make sure you subscribe to my new research review reps. Every month we review five studies in nutrition and exercise or supplementation and we break them down in a way that's palatable and easy to understand for anybody. We don't use a bunch of scientific jargon. We put it in very plain language so that you can get practical takeaways that you can help to improve your own health or if you're a coach, you can help your clients with. So make sure you click the link in the description, sign up for reps, and I'll catch you next week.